Well, it's that time of the year again, walnut time. Now these haven't dropped very many just yet. They will, of course, but I try to keep a little bit of ahead of them. And uh, so this year, rather than using that thing I made to pick them up, we invested in one of these deals here. And that is quite the P cat's PJs for picking up walnuts, I'll tell you. See if we can find some. This tree here don't have as many, but we'll see what we got. And you don't have to put no pressure down on it or anything. You just roll it over it, and there you got it. It's in there, you know, just very simple. And it'll work for, uh, I don't know, they make about three or four different sizes. And uh, you can pick up acorns, hickory nuts, gumballs, you know, like gumball trees. Put some, oh crap, now we've got a phone call. Who in the heck is that? Hang on a minute. That's another one, another one goof -ass, goofy calls there. They, something about the Department of Education not taking, I don't know, they're not going to, pay off your college debt or something. I ain't even had a college debt, never did go to college. And I certainly don't have one now, so. Uh, well, I'm probably not even holding this in the right place. Now it does tend to get heavy as you pick up quite a few walnuts in here. Uh, this particular one was uh, put on by the Garden Weasel outfit, but uh, there's a lot of different makers, so um, don't have to be. Uh, I really was kind of reluctant to get one from Garden e Weasel because I had one of them little things supposed to dig up your ground, you know, and everything. And uh, I guess it worked okay if, if it was really soft ground, but it wasn't worth a hoot for regular ground. So I uh, kind of got scalded on that one. I got some walnuts here in the tractor. I don't really want to pressure wash them this time because for some reason the last couple of years I pressure washed them and the uh, there's a lot of bad walnuts. I kind of wonder if that water didn't get blowed in there you know and uh, and uh, mess them up. But anyway these things are really a lot easier than uh, doing them by hand. Some of these probably don't have anything in them. We'll get these right here close to the fence. You can pick them up there by the fence. All right. And, let's see, get back over here to my little pickup truck here and I put them in there. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty good load there. <clears throat> now, I probably can't <coughs> do this where you see it, but <coughs> this handle here, you, you work this. I don't know if I can put this in any place where you can see it or not. Now it's tight. Well, we just fix this where you can see it. There, maybe, maybe you sit there. All right, so you pull this and it opens up the bottom there. Like that. There, like that. So, anyway, that's the way that uh, part works. I didn't handle it. Uh, so anyway, I got some more to pick up, but it's more of the same. So uh, no use you having to. Uh, set through all that, so. Unless I come to something else more interesting, that'd be it for now. As I, as I said, most of them haven't fallen off yet. Some of these are little ones are not going to be any good anyway, but I'll pick them up and give them a try. Well, we got 
not all of them. They're like I said, they're small, but the bigger ones are up on top. Yeah. Uh, not one of my favorite things to do, but I can sit back and take it easy and do that. So, all right, just a few more, and that'll be the end of it. It'll, it'll even take the rest of the night to kind of get it out of the ground. Even though it's for this up there, and what else we got here? There it is.